Wix versus Weebly. In today's video, I'm going to compare the Wix website builder versus Weebly website builder so that you can make the best decision for which one you would like to go. So what I'm going to do in this video is simply show you the inside of both platforms and I'm going to show you pricing. So I'm going to compare how much it will cost you to build a website on Wix and how much it will cost you to build a website on Weebly. Before I continue and show you the inside and the website builders, I want to get into pricing first because pricing is really important when choosing a website builder or any software in general. So if we start off with Wix, we can go to pricing and also click on pricing on the Weebly website and then I'm going to compare the two. So for the website plans and keep in mind, you've got website plans and you've got business and e-commerce plans, but I'm going to take a look at the website plans. So this is starting from eight, uh, this is probably $10, but eight euros and 50 cents per month, then 12 euros and 50 cents and then 24 and 50 cents. Now, if I scroll down, we can also see all of the features that this comes with. So for these plans, you'll get um, all of these features, all of these and all of these. So you can see that with the VIP um, plan, you'll get the $75 ad voucher, which isn't necessary, the side booster app, which is free for one year, the analytics app free for one year, a professional logo, a social media logo files. Honestly, my personal opinion, all of this isn't that great. So they're just adding this stuff so that they can charge you more. However, from my personal experience, you don't need a professional logo made by Wix because they, they really don't have any incentive for making you the best possible logo. They're just going to give you a logo, which in my opinion is probably not going to be the best. However, you will get one if you want to, but you can just go to Fiverr and get it for like five bucks. And that's probably probably gonna be a better one than this one. So I wouldn't pay that much attention to the stuff going on here. So honestly, I wouldn't go with the VIP plan right away. I would recommend starting with the eight euro and 50 cents a month um, plan pretty much. That will give you a custom domain name, which is good. A free domain name for one year, which is awesome. It will remove Wix ads from your website. It will get you a free SSL certificate and the bandwidth is going to be 2 GB, 3 GB storage space and 30 minutes of video hours and even a voucher. So honestly, this will give you the like all features you need pretty much for a basic standard website. So if you're looking to create a normal website, this is going to be great. Now, if we compare that to Weebly, you can see that they do have a free plan available. So Keep in mind, on Wix, they also have a free plan available. The problem is that there are going to be Wix ads on the website, and it's going to be the same for Weebly. So as you can see right there, basic use, it's going to be free. You're going to get a free SSL security, 500 MB storage, and then a domain name with free branding. And that's the problem here. It will be www, and then it has Weebly branding in it. So that means that it's not going to be www.yourname.com, but there's going to be Weebly involved, which is not a good thing, especially if you're trying to build a website for your business or something that matters, right? But if we take a look at the other plans, you can see this one is going to cost five euros per month uh, when paid annually. So keep that in mind. And with this, you can connect a free SSL security, 500 MB storage. You can connect a custom domain name, which is great because then you won't have any Weebly branding. And then if I scroll down, that is pretty much it. For marketing, you've got SEO, um, so search engine optimization. You can do lead capture and contact forms. So all of this might not be relevant for all of you. So I recommend checking this out yourself. For now, I'm gonna skip it. But you can see that the plans on Weebly are pretty different than on Wix. On Wix, they mainly pay attention to these uh, features right there. And then if you scroll down, you'll see there's not that much else on the website. And on here, if you scroll down, they will have a lot of stuff included. But however, there's not that much of a difference if you're building a basic website. If you're building a website for your business, um, then of course you want to go with the business plan. I'm not saying that because it costs the most, because I'm not even promoting this stuff. This is just my honest opinion, but you can see that it's made for businesses. So it has all the important stuff such as shopping carts, accepting payments and all of that good stuff. So what I recommend from here is basically choosing the plan that fits for whatever it is that you're trying to do. If you're trying to build a business website, go with the business plan on here as well. Choose business and then choose a business plan because the plans are made for your business. So all of the features that come with it are also great for that. But apart from all the pricing here, guys, it really comes up to 
what you're trying to do with the website. Like I said, if you're just trying to build a basic website, you can pretty much go with the cheapest plan on here and cheapest plan on here as well. I don't recommend going with the free one because there's going to be Weebly branding. If you don't mind, you can still do that. However, what I would like to do right now is show you the inside of my account and then show you what you can do with it. So on Wix, it's actually very easy to make a website. You can do it in just a couple of minutes. What you can do is click create new site in the top right corner, which will then send you over to this page. I recommend clicking on other and then next up I recommend clicking here so choose a template because what that's going to do it's going to allow you to simply choose a template to build a website and you can see if I scroll down they've got over 69 pages of content of, of templates now what you can do is choose one of them and then customize it so let's say that I would like to go with a business website and I would like to go with a consulting website I would simply click on that and Wix literally has a template for anything. So you just type it in right there in the top right corner and you'll find all of these templates. Now what you can do is simply view them to find out if you actually like them. So click view full demo and you can then see what the website looks like. Now this looks pretty good to me. So let's say that I would like to use this specific website template. I would then click edit this site in the top right corner and then I've got myself a website. Now of course, this is not gonna be um, a fully customized website yet. I'm going to have to change the content, but I'll show you how that works in a bit. It's very easy. Here we are inside the Weebly website builder. So this is how Weebly looks like. And basically how you can start building a website is by simply drag and drop editing. So what you can do is simply click on anything on your website and you can then change it. So if I, were to, if I would like to type in my name, how to digital right there. I can simply type that in and it changes. That's how easy this stuff is. So what you can also do is use the section bar on the left to simply slide in anything that you would like to add. So if I would like to add images, I would slide it over. There we go. It's then going to load. I can then click upload image and I can upload it. And that's how you can start building your entire website. And it's the same for Wix. So this is the Wix website builder. So basically how this one works is that you can also click on anything on your website and you can click on edit text and then change it. Now you can also do that with images. So click on it, change background. You can see all of the stuff on here, all of the website builders are pretty easy. And all you need to do is simply drag and drop. So in terms of that, Weebly and Wix are kind of the same. However, I would still like to prefer Wix as you can see, it just looks a bit more professional and I've got more templates in my opinion and better templates. So that's just my personal opinion. If I were to choose between um, Wix and Weebly, let me choose this tab, between Wix and Weebly, just for the content itself and the actual websites, I would go with Wix, especially if you're a beginner, they've got awesome templates. The downside to that is that when you're starting, you might not know how you can make it look great, but it's gonna be the same for Weebly. It just takes some time, just takes some skill. However, in my, like, like I said, my personal opinion, Wix is going to be better for you if you're just getting started. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If this video helped you out, I would appreciate it if you can leave a like on the video, and then I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.